I have now covered uh, my, the Emco bed. I mean, blued it up and rolled on the blue like this. And now wiping off with my fingers. So I have the bare minimum of blue on. This is a freshly ground bed. And um, I have scraped. The underneath of the saddle. Uh, first align alignment or so scraping for alignment which means that I have uh, used both hand and the power scraping <clears throat> and also completed the job with uh, push scraping lightly to get a, a texture and uh, this is the um, narrow guide principle still so it rests on the, uh, the pads here for horizontal or um, load support and then is guided by these uh, areas here they are substantially longer than what it was on the Myford uh, but still of course not as far apart as the whole distance here and not covering the same what I've done in, in uh, addition is also to uh, make four pads like I have pads here I've also relieved the center so I have pads on either side I'll put, put this on here lightly and I will listen because you can hear if it rests without any problem on here it's not completely as I can hear let's try again yeah better so then I will use the then push back so that this rests onto the ground surface here. Now we'll slide it back and forth. It's a little bit like that so I cover a little bit more because those areas are a little bit longer. But anyway it will be resting against the pad there. So and then inverting it. And I can see I've still a way to go here on the on this one but the others are more or less finished and also the pads there so apart from this which is slightly covered i've achie achieved my objectives and then of course i'll have to measure it on the plate For this purpose I'm using the ground and the, and the measured flats here on the upper surface and two parallels and I'm running an indicator like this and then measuring here and here and here and here to measure every, everything is flat. And these on the sides are flat to the upper sides here so I know that they are good and then the last thing I'll do is that I'll measure of course on the bed that this is located um, squarely with the um, with the, uh, the spindle so to speak as I said this um, retains the narrow guide principle whereas I 
have the gibbs here and then the front um, um, guideway only that uh, that guides the the saddle while the lower or the the, the rear part is only for for uh, horizontal support so to speak so that this is load bearing so the narrow guide here guides the the saddle in the in the longitudinal direction while these areas of course though supports the load the the pressure but if you have a just thinking if you have a um, let's say a milling operation and you put some pressure sideways of the rear here you only have this the guideway here to stop the forces you have no support on these sides take it to the other side and you'll see what i mean So if you have the a milling operation where you mill at the rear here, the the uh, the clamping and the control here will be between the rear side of the front way and the front side of the front way. So any movement like this. Um, so that uh, when you, if you produce sideways movement like this, it will be stopped or arrested by, by only this flat here. So a little bit, I'm not sure if that's a, um, a negative thing with this, but um, trying to figure out if it would be better to have a little bit support out here also, like this for milling operations. 